Hey, what is up, people? It's been a minute since I made my last full talking head video, right? So, I'm gonna get straight to it. This video, I'm gonna be talking about the four biggest mistakes in killing your Instagram ads, sales, and profits, right? So, if you're running Instagram ads specifically, this also works for, for Facebook ads, but everyone is making videos about Facebook ads. Not a lot of people make videos about Instagram ads, right? So, if for some reason, maybe your Facebook page is brand new, so you can't run Facebook ads, or you just don't like the platform, like it's super complicated. Well, Instagram ads, it's so easy, it's probably stupid, and there's a lot of glitches and things wrong about the Instagram ad platform, but it's something that it has, and it's super simple. You just basically click booth post, put a budget, and you're off to the races, right? Mistake number one is using a tiny budget for Instagram ads no matter the reason, right? A lot of people know that you have to use like a budget of like $5, $10 a day minimum in order to get results. But if you're someone that's just trying to test, right? Or you're just trying to run like engagement ads and per try to put like $3 a day or something. No, that's not it. For engagement ads, the minimum you want to put is like $5 a day, unless you want to run it for like a whole month, right? Then you can put like $3 a day. But if you're trying to get sales, nothing less than ten dollars a day in my experience and people that have taught like my mentorship students and clients i've worked with in my business as well because it's a bidding system right everyone is putting in a bid to show up in front of people in for example new york or in the us or australia or whatever so if someone is bidding ten dollars a day your ads are going to show up first and beat out your ads you're only bidding five dollars a day for right and everyone on Instagram, everyone running ads knows, hey, $5 a day, $5 a day. So it'll take you probably two to three days before you even start getting like a single lead. If you're spending like $5 a day versus $10 a day can take you one day. So think about it, you're actually saving money because you will show up and support people super fast. If you like $5 a day, we all know how preferential treatment works in the whole world, right? Um, someone, you have VIP clients, you have VVIP clients, you have regular clients, you have first class, business class, and coach or economy. And that's the same thing here. If you spend five dollars a day, unless if you're in like a niche or an area that's like in the middle of nowhere and there's no competition whatsoever, right? But if you're in an area or a niche, an industry that's somewhat competitive, right? You have to spend ten dollars a day. Because if you spend five dollars a day, like you just basically at the bottom. So after Facebook is done showing everyone the $10, $15 a day, $100 a day um, ads, right? Then I'll come back to yours and I'll show the $5 a day. So you probably get like the worst leads, right? In terms of lead quality. And you also get super slow results, right? So if you're trying to test, you're trying to test like different ad variations and copies and ad creatives and all that, it can take a long while. And we all know how time it's important, right? If you, especially if you run ads for a client, they want to start seeing leads and results super fast. That'll win like a week. So that's the first mistake. The second mistake in terms of running Instagram ads is running ads to a page that has no followers or like less than 20 followers, 500 followers, stuff like that. The minimum I would recommend is like 500 followers. The more, the better, right? Most times, the best is like 10K followers. That's when people start like, trusting you and having a little bit of trust just because you have 10,000 followers. Once you see like the K, it's because it starts at 10K, right? So once you start getting to K in front of your name, like in front of your followers, people start trusting you more, even if it's fake, right? One of my clients, an Australian um, renovation, bathroom, kitchen renovation company, right? They had like 20 followers. And just before we started running ads, I just told him, hey, you can't run ads to like a page with 20 followers, even though you might get these, but those leads are probably people that were already gonna buy before they saw the ad, right? You don't need to sell to them. But people who are skeptical on the fans and stuff like that, bro, it's not gonna work. So we had to buy fake followers, like bot followers from, I'm gonna, you can just check it, justanotherpanel.com, right? Justanotherpanel.com, that's a website. So the minimum is like a dollar for um, crediting your account. So you can use Bitcoin, you can use PayPal, whatever. PayPal I think is like $10 minimum. So you have to have $10 in your PayPal account before you can fund the just another pound like dashboard right but bitcoin you can use um like one dollar so you can buy like 500 followers for not think about that that platform is i'm 
I'm probably gonna make another video specifically on how to buy photos, right? Fake photos and the best like avenues and best categories to use. So if you wanna make if you want me to make a video on that, just comment down below. JAP, that's the name of the on the website just under the panel. Just comment down below JAP and I'll if I get like five comments saying that I'll make another video. But going back to this, um you don't wanna go to the cheapest because you could buy like five hundred followers and within a week they all drop off to like 200 or 100 that's it those are, those are what the cheapest um followers like you see if you go to it's super con confusing right but after you can just watch tutorials on youtube and get a hang of it right so you always want to get like middle of the range followers and probably targeted but those are super expensive but if you spend like um 10 cents or um 0.1 dollars right you probably get like 500 to a thousand followers depends on the quality so just get that and you can also get likes just fake likes just to give that illusion of hey you're actually um in business and we know what you're talking about because for example if you see an ad right or someone dms you or you see an ad from someone with 30 followers even if the, the, the product is amazing and unless you're offering for free if the product is amazing and everything looks good but you have like 30 followers like like bro if it's so good why you why does no one know about these guys right so that's the thing you don't want to run um ads to a page with no followers or very little followers 500 is the minimum i recommend for any industry so what's the third mistake the third mistake is running ads and not optimizing your prof profile right so i see a lot of people that they just have a profile like um this is what we do for example if you're like a uh, solar station company you're like um canadian solar installation company or atlanta based solar installation company and you put your phone number you put um the name of the, the founder or something or we've been in business for 20 years no one really cares about that it has to be a call to action right if you're running ads you want every single real estate on your page and your posts everything to point to a sale or booking a call so if you have a profile what you want to do is i'll probably um put us an overlay of what you need to do right so it should be basically copywriting right so you want to be like um we just helped or oh, we've if you're like a solar exchange company like put social proof first we've um installed solar for 300 homes in new york right that's the first thing then the second line is click the um link let's say you have a link to a, a, a scheduling page or click the blue message me or white message um me button down below to put to learn more or book a free 10 minute strategy session or consultation call or something like that just to funnel them from seeing your profile probably following you then going in and liking your posts or whatever and then dming you right you don't just want them to it's just like a website right a lot of people just have websites like hey um the first thing they see is we've been in business for 20 years and they start po posting pictures of the team posting pictures of maybe the awards that have won 10 years ago that no one really cares about right but the best converting websites are landing pages right those are landing pages that have a strong call to action and a clear funnel for what you need to do step by step right hey um we just helped this this person bring in thirty thousand dollars last month here's a video showing what we did and click the blue uh, book now button to schedule a call with us that's it and that is what you need to do for your profile as well you can't be running ads on special on instagram because instagram people check the profile more often than on facebook facebook people can just check the ad itself and do whatever you wanted to do unless it's like a big purchase like 500 dollars or, or more high ticket purchase but if it's something small they just click on the ad click on the form or phone number and that's it because yeah it's much it's much if, you, if you've ever been <laughs> i know a lot of people a lot of you guys don't use facebook so if you've ever been on facebook and you see an ad you know how hard it is to go to a profile you have to click like three buttons yeah so like i said if you've ever been on facebook like the oldies right from the profile especially if you're in a group or whatever if you're trying to get to the person's profile it's like three clicks you have to click on the profile itself then click on the main profile of or view the main profile then once you go on there like there's so many steps compared to instagram where you just swipe right or swipe left or click on the person's page or icon and you get to the profile 
So there's far less steps on Instagram. That's why a lot of people check a profile super fast. So that's a third mistake. Then the first mistake is only running one variation. This might sound common sense, right? But on Instagram, it's the, the, the ad dashboard or the ad functionality is like one over 120 or one over 20 compared to that of Facebook, like it's super limited, right? You can't really do variations. You can't really do split tests. You can't really do any, like, you can't even use a phone number as a call to action. You have to use like a messaging um, sequence or something. So a lot of people, what you do on Instagram is since there's only one like ad you can post, you just post one ad and let it go. The thing about ads, marketing in general is test, 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 right? Not to start wrong, like test in terms of <laughs> variations. So on Instagram, on Facebook, you can just use like your campaigns and your ad sets, create like three different ad sets or three different ads, right? And test right there, right? You don't have to like create a separate ad every single time. But on Instagram, you have to create three separate ads, one with a different caption, one with a different um, picture or carousel or video, one with a different call to action. So that's what you need to do. You need to do that manually and split your budget. If you have like a budget of $30 a day or $500 a month or whatever, instead of spending $20 a day on one ad and hoping it works and hoping you hit it, um, like you hit a home run for the first time on, in the first try, you have to create like three, two to three or even five different ads and spend like $7 a day, $10 a day. And you can just do that for like three to four days, right? Just make sure there's no interruptions. And that's another thing, that's like a bonus um, bonus point, right? But let me get to that soon. So make sure there's no interruptions and make sure the ad actually runs smoothly. So after that, you now check, hey, what got me the, bird, um, mad, um, the, let me see. What got me the most messages and what didn't work? So after that, you can now cut out the ones that are the losers and boost the winners. And now boost the winners to like $20 a day. Or if you have one winner, you can boost it like $40 a day. But the problem with Instagram is sometimes the tracking is so bad. Even the messages, if you get like, if you're running like four different ads, you might not be able to know which one got you the messages, right? It might tell you that it's like, you can just put a blank um, dash in terms of messaging conversation, messaging conversation started, right? So what you wanna do, <laughs> what you wanna do is just check whatever one is getting you the most impressions, right? For that money and getting you the most engagement. So you basically have to guess. That is the problem with Instagram. So I don't really recommend using Instagram in the long run. It's only if your Facebook ad is disabled, your Facebook ad account is disabled, maybe it's a new account. So you can just run ads for like two weeks while um, your new page is getting like ramped up, right? So then the last point, like I said, is make sure there's no interruptions. If you're going to run um, $10 a day, make sure you have $100 in your um, card right or in your ad account you can, you can prepay or something whatever just make sure you have enough money because every single time your ad gets like interrupted like it gets stopped by instagram right once you start again and you like actually let's say you run out of money and you refund the card it takes like a whole day before you start getting leads again so you have basically if you if, you, if your budget is like ten dollars a day you're wasting ten dollars just to get it to start working again so that's, that might not sound like a lot but if you're running big um campaigns you spend like a hundred dollars a day on one on one ad right so you've just wasted a hundred dollars just to get it ramped up so what you want to always do is keep a, keep tabs on your ad account keep tabs on um your banking account right your card and make sure you always have at least 100 200 300 dollars in your card right and anytime like you're running out of the budget right your ad budget make sure you keep on checking like whatever is getting debited so you always know it's going to finish in three days so in three days time make sure you stop it before you actually get stopped right so it doesn't ruin your ads and the performance anymore because it's a huge problem so i hope you guys enjoyed this video that's five tips one bonus tip for all the guys that waited to the end hope you guys enjoyed this video smash that like button and we're making more videos like this probably two times a week. Um, I've been super busy with my agency, getting web design clients, getting marketing clients, and let's try to see if the YouTube stuff works. This is probably like my fifth time, <laughs> fifth time stopping and starting the channel. So 
I'm not gonna give up. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash this like button and send this video if you have any friends or colleagues. Let's try to run ads on Instagram. Maybe they have a Facebook page I could disable. This video is gonna help. So, see y'all soon. Peace.